Live from Chicago, this is Fox News at Noon. They died in the sea, and the sea is now their final resting place. Today, the ashes of JFK Jr., his wife Carolyn, and her sister Lauren were scattered in the waters off Martha's Vineyard. The ceremony was brief and private, and cameras were kept at a distance. A crowd of people watched silently from the shoreline, and once again this noon, we will have expanded coverage of the Kennedy beset tragedy. It's good to have you with us today. I'm Mike Pomerantz. And I'm Robin Robinson. Before we begin our coverage of the Kennedy Bissett burial at sea, we want to check on the weather locally. Yeah, we're starting with a long period now of some heat, extreme perhaps, and humidity. Meteorologist Rick DeMaz in the Fox Weather Center with more. Rick? Yeah, without a doubt, Mike and Robin, this is normally the hottest time of the year in Chicago. Yesterday, we managed to get into the low 90s today. No difference. And with that heat, high humidity with the heat index topping out in the low 100s. Some relief along the lake, but is there any relief in the five day forecast. We'll detail the entire weather forecast coming up in just about 10 minutes. Mike. All right, Rick, thanks very much. Now to our top story and a sad goodbye at sea. The ashes of JFK Jr., his wife, and her sister are now scattered in the Atlantic off the coast of Martha's Vineyard. The burial at sea provides closure now for two families that have certainly seen their share of tragedy. We have a series of reports for you this noon. First, let's go to Fox reporter Craig Wall, who is live on Martha's Vineyard. Craig. Mike, six days ago, the waters here off Martha's Vineyard took the lives of John F. Kennedy Jr., his wife Carolyn, and sister-in-law Lauren Bursett. Bursett. Today, the medical examiner said that the three were killed instantly and died on impact with the water. Today now the families have just wrapped up, we believe, the burial at sea ceremony in the same solemn, in the same waters uh, out here where they died in a solemn ceremony aboard a USS destroyer. Now 15 members of the Kennedy and Bissett families boarded the Coast Guard cutter Sanibel in the town of Woods Hole here in Cape Cod. From there, it was a short trip out to the USS Briscoe for the burial at sea ceremony. It is a civilian religious ceremony involving a Navy Catholic priest, a civilian Catholic priest, and the deputy chief of chaplains for the United States Navy. The Briscoe headed out to an I area I have mixed several emotions miles. about the burial at sea. He never served in the service. You know, I can understand that the family's wishes and whatnot, but uh, I think it's a fitting end. I mean, we went down in the sea. I think it's definitely appropriate. No question about it. I think it's a very sad time for us and for the nation. We always love John F. Kennedy Jr. He's been around the island quite a lot. It's, it's a disappointing thing to have happen to him at this early age. The ceremony was held uh, several miles off the coast here of Martha's Vineyard, about in the area where the wreckage and the bodies were recovered from. It is also in view of some of the Kennedy family's property that is owned right here in Martha's Vineyard. Seems an appropriate way for them to have wrapped up this thing, as you heard those people say wrap up this tragedy. The Navy did establish a three mile uh, no entry zone to keep the cameras back and allow the family some privacy in this very, very solemn moment that they are trying to deal with. Mike, back to you. Uh, Craig, talk about that a minute if you would. On this, you know, it's obviously a very difficult day for the Kennedys and Bissett's. Do we have any idea how they're coping? They've certainly seen their share of tragedy, but they always seem to be extremely strong. Well, you know, they have been through so much, Mike, it's, it's almost as though they have become accustomed to dealing with this. They rally together. They have been through good times and bad times together. And uh, they pull together. They are a, a strong family and perhaps hardened by all the tragedies that they have had to deal with. Uh, they have not uh, done very much at all with the public, only releasing a few statements. Uh, the Bissett family released one through a family friend. The Kennedys just released a written statement. Um, you know, they are keeping to themselves and trying to deal with this tragedy that is theirs, but the nation's as well. Uh, as best they possibly can. It's obviously difficult for them being in the limelight to try to grieve privately, but they're going to be doing that um, over the next few days. Reporting live from Martha's Vineyard, Craig Wall, Fox News Chicago. All right, Craig, thanks very much. A public memorial is going to be held in New York tonight for J. 